Hey there friends, thank you for joining me for another group session. This will be for everyone. Now, if you haven't been to a group session before, friends, all good. Just understand, not all messages will resonate and that is just fine. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com, where you can also sign up for my Psychic University, which is coming this fall, so get in on that, friends. And as well, if you're just curious to see if you have any psychic skills yourself, which you do, by the way, go visit my website and take my Psychic Strengths quiz to find out, are you clairvoyant, are you clairsentient, are you claircognizant, are you clairaudience? Go check it out, learn about yourself. And friends, of course, if you enjoy these sessions, please don't forget to support me so I can keep supporting you. Okay, friends, now we are gonna look at some healing messages right now from your inner child. So I've definitely been pulling and channeling some inner child messages for all of you, and this is all in the name of healing. Because right now there's a lot of heavy stuff going on right now, and you know, it's really, I think a lot of people have been triggered in terms of their past, in terms of past belief systems, in terms of patterns of past behaviors. And I think it's time that we take a look at some of those and be willing to let some go. Now, for this, I've also asked your angels and your ancestors to assist in this reading and some of the cards that have come out has been so so beautiful already so let's start with messages that are coming from your angelic type energies via inner child okay so first up vacuum away fear friends this is an amazing amazing card because what this card talks about is the patterns of moving forward and letting go but going through the process to actively look at acknowledge identify hurts and actively try to remove them okay so many times hurts are mental emotional especially when it comes to inner child but absolutely it can be physical as well so do you have physical healing emotional healing whatever that case might be friends call upon your angels call upon your guides but specifically call upon your angels ask them or ask Archangel Michael specifically to use his vacuum and vacuum away this fear oh my goodness kitties are running crazy <laughs> vacuum away the fear and so this is really about you taking ownership and identification of what these items are but not being afraid to ask for heavenly assistance to help clear your energy and keep this going on a regular basis because as you're aware when you release or maybe identify something that hurts, it's quite frequent that that will revisit itself down the line, okay? Whether it's a day later, whether it's an hour later, whether it's a year later. So be open to repeating this process and saying, yep, I know, I remember that hurts, and we're gonna ask it to be vacuumed away again, all right? Definitely, take charge, friends, take charge. Now, another message here, which is really, really interesting for many of you, okay? Books. And you're like, what the heck does books have to do with healing inner child or inner child messages? Now, the first message that came through for this intuitively for you was with regards to your focus. So for example, many of us, when we are healing or dealing with something that's uncomfortable, love to distract ourselves, right? The easiest thing is to pull up your phone and start scrolling through stuff or checking out videos or whatever the case is and not actively looking at what the items are that we need to heal. Now, books are a fantastic tool. Now, books compared to me, Media, for example, allow you to use your imagination. Okay, you don't really have to do that with videos and TV. Your imagination is all like spewed out for you. The creative piece isn't involved because it's created for you. But when you have books connected to you, this is about using your intuition and also using your imagination to see and feel and determine what other messages are there for you, okay? So slow things down and instead of responding by going to the TV and maybe eating a bunch of snacks, curl up with a book. Connect to yourself again and disconnect from the electronics, which can be a horrible distraction. Now, this message may not be for everyone, but if it's for you, listen up. Have you been wanting to write a book? Have you been feeling like you need to look into books to heal yourself, to connect to your spirituality, whatever that looks like for you? Books are definitely calling you and definitely part of your healing process, so don't overlook them, okay? Definitely. And another beautiful message as well. Singing and dancing. Friends, this is amazing. Talking about inner child type energy, that's what children do. They sing, they dance, they connect to their own inner energy of happiness, joy, and abundance. And they don't look around to see who's judging me, who's watching me, what are they gonna say, what are they gonna do? And as a result, they become this free spirit in the moment of just allowing, just being, and totally accepting yourself for who you are without judgment and allowing yourself to flow within that energy. Friends, bring in singing and dancing. Now, 
you might feel a little bashful and that's just fine if you don't want to go singing and dancing in front of other people and all of that but this is even if you do it in private right close the bedroom door close you know the basement door whatever that is and let loose because when you allow your inner fun your inner self your inner uh, child to sing and to dance you naturally connect to who you really are and disconnect from all the belief systems all the people who said you could and all the people who shamed you for being yourself friends it is your time to shine do it and there's also a piece here with regards to healing frequency because singing comes from the throat chakra right right and any sort of vibration that connects with your throat chakra is always going to assist in your healing now this can look in different ways whether this means you sing and you connect your voice and your heart and your throat chakra to be able to release stuff or if this means for example you need to scream it out you need to punch a pillow you need to do those things if this is part of the singing healing peace then go ahead and do it there's no shame in healing yourself through your best good now amazing amazing messages there and definitely all in alignment for your higher good but definitely inner child healing that's what this is all about now to go a little deeper because we're starting from the heavens the heavenly type messages from your inner child now we're going right back down to our ancestors the very roots of our creation our earth our earth mother okay so going back to our shamanic type traits and our shamanic type roots what sort of messages are here for our ultimate healing friends this is beautiful okay the first up my goodness so close to my heart horse medicine okay now think about horse medicine for just a moment running wild running free and all of that so it's a beautiful a beautiful concept okay but also remember there's different sides of horses there's the free side and there's the working side because horse did give us permission to ride on her back in order to assist with our own human evolution travel assistance carrying people carrying um, supplies etc okay and this is also telling you that you you yourself have been carrying a large burden where this healing is concerned you might have been stuffing down emotions and not being able to feel free again like to dance right or to run and be that true free spirit that you really are this was stifled okay it might be time to either emotionally mentally or physically distance yourself from the herd from the people or from the old behaviors and belief systems that were making you feel trapped or making you feel like you had to stifle your energy and that you weren't free okay so so important that you understand and that your freedom, freedom of self, freedom of expression all comes from within. So don't be afraid to be this wild stallion, this wild horse and go out there and do the things that you want to do. Connect to your own freedom, friends, okay? This is about you choosing to live life the way that you were meant to, the way that you feel, the way that connects to your happiness, to your joy, to your sacred freedom. Friends, this is all here. Allow yourself to run wild, to run free, and come back to yourself, okay? Wow, no need to tame. No need to be tamed, okay? And that's often like the polarity with horse energy as well. It could be a super wild, or this could be a tamed horse that is structured and stabled, right? But this is no more. It is your choice to break out of those chains. It is your choice to break out of that frame, and you can absolutely do it. Now, another animal messenger who is here to help you along your healing path with regards to this, okay? Badger energy, right? Now, don't overlook the badger because she's small and maybe not all, you know, fancy and free like the horse energy, but there are very, very important messages here in terms of your approach to healing here, okay? There's very, um, with regards to energies, things are very polar. Note the black and the white, right? It can either be perfect, you know, on the scale of happiness, joy, and love, or down into the shadows, okay? And that's where many inner child type work is done, in the shadows. And for anyone who doesn't know, that's shadow work, right? Going down into those darkest hurts and pulling them out, being willing to look at them, being willing to understand them, and to reintegrate these fragmented pieces of your soul that you've been disassociated with because of pain, because of trauma, because of hurt, all of that kind of stuff. So Badger is inviting you to dig in deep and to do the work. Look at the clutter that has been created or collected in your heart, in the back corner of your mind, in the back corner of your psyche. Be willing to bring this out and explore it, okay? Because that's really the only way that you're going to get rid of these negative energies, by going deep, by exploring them, okay? Be persistent, be determined. And this isn't going to be easy, okay? It's never easy doing healing work. But if you just try it once and then you give up and say, yeah, yeah, I did it, you're not gonna go the distance. Be consistent, be thorough, do the work, okay? 
Also, one of Badger's most beautiful strengths is her connection to plant medicine. So if plant medicine resonates with you with regards to healing, whether that is taking it in physically, whether it's by holy smoke, that is totally up to you, okay? But there's definitely plant medicine aspects in Badger's healing as well, okay? Be present, be determined, go after it, okay? And the other message that we have from our spirit animals and from our shamanic animals here today for you, so telling, my goodness, Snake, what does it even say? Well, actually it doesn't say it here, but snake is healing energy and it may not seem so, okay? Because many people associate snake with negativity. Me, not so much, okay? But what snake is talking about is healing. It is about overcoming. It is about seeing the older version of yourself, the older version of your behaviors, your beliefs, your thought systems, whatever that is, these traumas, okay? And it is about wiggling out of it, recreating energy and leaving it behind. A snake will always shed its skin and move forward with a new version of themselves, leaving the old stuff behind. This is what you are being invited to do, my friends, definitely. Snake is here to assist you. You are transforming from the inside out, and that's what happens with snake, right? They have to, when they're shedding their skin, they slow everything right down. They find a place to go chill and be by themselves where they won't be disturbed because they don't feel protected, right? They feel vulnerable in this state of shedding and all of this, so they will keep to themselves. If you feel like you need to keep to yourself, to shed, to cry, whatever that is, take that moment, be with yourself, allow yourself to go through this process in the way that works best for you, okay friends? This is also about understanding how toxic behavior and poisons can enter your system and how you need to be aware of this, be able to identify and rid it, okay? A snake has venom, right? Venom from stings, from words of the past, hurts of the past can be carried and running through our system to this day. So be aware of any toxins or poisons that are within your body that you need to get rid of, okay? And it's really also important with snake energy that you acknowledge that it's t it takes time to heal, okay? It really does, okay? It's not an instant gratification process. So allow yourself to go up and down in your healing process and you don't have to do it all in one day, okay? So if you think about a snake or a lizard, if they're resting or like taking a break, what do you do? You usually see them out there lying on a, on a rock, sunning themselves, like lizard energy, right? Sunning themselves, collecting the sun. So don't make it all this heavy burden chore. Do some work, do some healing, make some notes or journal if that makes sense for you, and then go out and bring the sun back in. Rest your body, rest your mind, connect with the sun, bring back these beautiful healing vibes, and fulfill yourself. It is not all doom and gloom. Now, I asked the question, what's gonna happen if we take our healing journey ser seriously? If we really commit to looking at these wounds and bringing them back into our own system to heal them, to transmute them, to neutralize them, and to integrate that last part, this inner child that is disassociated, what's gonna happen? Friends, you're not gonna believe this. Look at this, look at this medicine wheel right? And the medicine wheel, for any of you who don't know, is the Aboriginal ideal of balance, okay? For example, I know you've heard of this, north, south, east, west, earth, air, fire, water, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, right? Everything on the medicine wheel correlates to your human life and all balance within it. Again, whether it's mental, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, it is irrelevant because this is telling you through this process, you are balanced. Through this process, you see where things were not shifted properly and you were taking ownership to look at this, okay? The other really strong messages here with um, Medicine Wheel is really knowing, seeing and understanding and integrating these new choices and new frequencies into your life. Because like I've said before, it's one thing to know it, but are you integrating it? Are you making it a habit? Are you bringing it into your life and making it part of your daily? So, so important, friends. And it's really, just like snake it's about evolving it's about growing it's about seeing where you are being okay with it and also being okay to be honest with yourself to level up and get to the next place where you will continue to heal and continue to grow friends if we could end with the medicine wheel and your inner child healing 
then all is gonna be coming forward beautifully for you. You are gonna be setting yourself up for this next journey, this next journey of evolution, this next journey of growth, and next journey of healing. So friends, I invite you to go forward and do this beautiful inner child healing. Listen to these messages from your angels above. Listen to these messages from your ancestors and our shamanic animals on this earth plane. Bring these pieces together and integrate these inner child pains so that you can come back to yourself wholly, fully, and integrated. Friends, I hope these messages validated all of the feelings that you might be feeling right now. Please, again, take this huge leap to go ahead and do some healing work for yourself, even if you're just starting, because even if you heal bit by bit by bit, you're gonna be going a long way, long term. Join me next week for your next collective read, my friends.